evening. We will begin with an open session, Pledge of Allegiance, Moment of Silence, Public Service Announcements. Then we have uh, three uh, public hearings, uh, uh, two involving National Grid and uh, one involving our friends at Deep Fruits Distillery. Uh, we have a town administrator update and then the action items have actually been held because we're waiting for some answers from council. Uh, then we have old business, new business, correspondence, approval of minutes, and citizens forum, and then uh, adjourn. So with that, can you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, and I'd also just like to take a, a moment of silence to uh, think about the uh, wars abroad and um, all the needless violence going on in the world. All right, and with that, public service announcements. Mary Lou, do you have any? Just that the town hall looks so festive, and it's, <laughs> whoever did it did a great job. That's great. Chase? I have none, thank you. Mary? No. Um, I just want to say happy Hanukkah for those who celebrate. It begins this Friday. Yes, I dream. Um, and I'll second that, and um, otherwise I have nothing. Uh, with that, we are a few minutes shy of our uh, 6.35 public hearing. I will note that the first two public hearings, we're going to approach uh, on the air on the side of caution, but we don't actually think they are required public hearings. They're actually probably going to be more likely technically informational because they involve private roads. But just so nobody has to come back, we'll do what we have to do, but with the understanding that, that it might not be binding in any way, shape, or form. Um, so with that, you want to go sure. take a minute, Robin? Yeah, very briefly, um, just uh, to follow up uh, to Mary Lou, thank you. Um, there is no one person responsible. This was a, uh, because we love competition, this is a decorate your door competition. And um, so it's all about competition, nothing, a great nothing but that. We all want to be better than the next one. So no. <laughs> is there a prize for the winner? Um, what do we have for the prize? I do we know? Lynn and Schiller are handling that. Oh, OK. You, like, you we did have the ugly TV. sweater contest last year. I don't even recall what the prize was for that. Are you letting the public? Are you know, next time, maybe. We like should the let the public vote. Then that'll yeah. get them in. Yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. we have discussed whether the public Because otherwise, it's too much collusion. Yeah, it could be. It could have. Yeah, it could be. Who's friends with who? And someone come up to take wanted to close our doors to take pictures today for the public. Yes, the public did. To it, so yeah. thank you. We, we're having, trying to have a little fun. Um, uh, I just want to pass a thank you to um, Recreation Committee and Annie for the tree lighting. Uh, went very well. Um, I had the pleasure of being there. Uh, it was cold, but absolutely beautiful, and, and uh, all went well. Santa was great. Um, MMA legislative session. I sat in on a virtual MMA legislative session. Just briefs and updates on what's going on. Nothing earth shattering right now for Sturbridge, but I will. I just let you know. I keep my hand in that in case. Something bubbles up. Lots of talks about circuit breakers and special education costs, things like that generally. But if something directly applies, I will let you know. Opioid update. We're very excited. We have our brochures all printed up um, for the opioid, Sturbridge opioid um, group. And we will be distributing those as soon as the website's ready, probably January, because there's a QR code takes you right to a website, um, a town website that now will have links to all sorts of help and educational programs and things like that. And we're working on bringing in some speakers. We invited Deb Boyd to join our meeting last week um, so that we can partner with the schools a little bit because we didn't realize they do some drug education and health curriculum, but they're not doing anything specific to opioid use right now. And so Deb was very receptive to working with us on that since we have some money to spend and we're happy to share that um, with the schools as well as doing some programs hopefully through the library for parental education and whatnot on that. Um, and then finally, the Sturbridge Fire Department will be driving Santa around on December 16th. That's a, an important one to note. <laughs> Don't want to miss that. So uh, that was the first topic where we sat in for union negotiations. The first thing they said to me is, do you think you could share that we will be doing this? I'm like, what a great way to start a union <laughs> negotiation, a talk about one. Santa Claus. Um, so I said I was more than happy to comply with that and to take that as a concession I'm going to want on the other end. But, um, and then very quickly, um, and it, you don't have to vote tonight, but we were just discussing this briefly. The chiefs have asked me to consider looking at regionalizing dispatch. Uh, both chiefs are on board, but we would be looking at it, regionalizing it from a standpoint of us being the host, as opposed to, I, get, I got a letter today, in fact, from Worcester, 
asking us to join them. We're not looking to join another community. I know there's a ton of controversy around that. The public gets very concerned about that. Uh, one of the reasons we would consider this is we have a huge radio project coming up. A large portion of funding for that project might be able to be offset by grant funding from the state because the state is pouring money into regionalizing. At some point, we're going to be in a position where we may be forced to because all that grant money for regionalization that's going to individual municipal the grant money for, for dispatch that's going to municipalities may start getting diverted only to regionalized groups. So I don't want to be behind the eight ball and find out, sorry, no more individual money. Both chiefs are on board to look at this. So um, the state wants me to consider, would want me, state 911 wants me to sign a letter saying that we all agree to enter a study on this. I don't know if the board wants to vote on that tonight. It, we are not binding to anything other than studying. We are looking at Spencer and Charlton as our uh, as groups that are potentially willing to join us. You're probably oh through the Jeremy I comment. Yeah, go first. Um, you're probably aware that years ago the issue was looked at. Um, Mary was on um, the board. It was we were not going to be the host town. Right. We had, had a lot of concerns. I was not in favor of it um, because for a variety of reasons, but you're aware of the history. This is yes. before Chief Dessert and before both yes. Chiefs, actually. Yes, they are both aware of, of the history. Okay. Um, and I think we all agreed that if we were not going to be a host community, it probably would not get off the ground. But I think what we're looking at is the timing on this with the radio project. A good portion of the infrastructure for that might be able to be offset through some grant money because we're looking at potentially a $5 million project to upgrade our radio system, and we have to do it. Um, so I, at this point, all I would be looking for is support to study it with the state, with those two communities at this point. Um, if the board wants to think about that for two weeks and, and vote to enter the study, or you're OK with me entering the study, that's kind of your call. It's a quick thing. I just found out today I had to actually do a letter to even study it. Um, otherwise, I'd just be studying it. <laughs> but um, well, what does the board think? I think we should go ahead and vote on it tonight just as long as it's just the study just to get the ball rolling okay i mean yeah is that chase do you have any i have no problem with that at all okay. Absolutely. i have no problem with studying yeah okay i think i don't we just kind of blended yeah, into Mary. Mary, Mary. <laughs> People okay. not okay. Studies, <laughs> studies mean information, and that's always a good thing. Okay. So, yes, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I just wanted to give you the history of when we were not going to host. Yeah. Mm. There was a lot of concern for Absolutely. residents as well, because we've always had an excellent response time. We've been mm. in control. And we There's a lot, lot of fear with not hosting. And that's why, like, when I got the letter from Worcester, I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that, doesn't, yeah. that doesn't fly. Um, but if we're the host, and I really want to get some concrete answers through the study of what this might do to help offset the cost of that radio project, because that's a critical component of what would justify if we're saving two or three million, um, plus we have other communities paying us to perform a service and not having to increase our own staffing, and they're offsetting that cost. You know, it is something financially to look at. If we're the host, we're not going to have a service problem. Okay. Yeah. So, um, thank you. Yeah, I think it's, I don't think you need a motion for this, do you? No, I just felt that the board should should weigh in, <laughs> weigh in before I. I'm just go curious. Down this is road. Spencer and Charlton also studying it, or do they want to do? Where, where they, are they? At? They. Um, it, the state requires that we sort of enter either a study or go right into it or whatever the project may be. We're at the point of, from my perspective, we're only at the point of study. Spencer and Charlton, the chiefs have spoken. I don't know what the collective boards have said, but at the chiefs level, there is interest. Is, at least there's interest. Great. All right. Um, with that, we are past 635. So, uh, Mary, do you have a motion? I do. Uh, I'll make a motion. I'm sorry, not a motion. National Grid has made a petition to the Sturbridge Board of Selectmen to excavate the public highways and to run and maintain underground electric conduits together with such sustaining and protecting fixtures as said company may deem necessary in the public way or ways here and after referred to and to make the necessary house connections along said extensions. Park Ave, National Grind to install approximately 3,445 feet of new conduit on 1st Street, 2nd Street, Park Ave, Vista Lane, Juniper Ave, and Pine Ave. Install 13 new pool boxes. Replace five pad mounted transformers. The poll hearing will take place on Monday, December 4, 2023, at 6.35 p.m. at the Sturbridge Town Hall, second floor, Veterans Memorial Hall, 308 Main Street, Sturbridge. All right. Thanks, come on. Mm -hmm.
Kate, Jamie, for the audience, though, yeah. at home, do you want to reiterate the fact that we really have no control? Sure, I can, I can, this? yeah, we can, um, so what we're doing right now is a redundancy, effectively. We do not think that there is a um, uh, binding uh, ability for us to bind on these particular projects, regardless of our vote, and when we make a uh, motion up or down, we will so note that it is uh, it is a contingency vote. Um, so if you just want to walk and give a brief explanation of what's going on, uh, sure. we'd appreciate it. Yep, so um, basically National Grid identified that um, those roads um, could use a replacement of the cable um, due to outages that are kind of ongoing. Um, so the replacement of the cable is just to kind of help re reliability and uh, make uh, restorations more uh, efficient. So the pull boxes help with um, accessing the cable and uh, the transformer replacements um, are just for um, uh, as needed. Um, so those were identified as part of the project. Okay. Um, questions from the board? No questions. No, makes sense. Anything? Well, good, right? We have had some questions from the neighbors um, and we did reach out to some of our contacts through you guys and uh, we'll likely, if there are, is a desire from the neighborhood, ask you all to do just some type of a neighborhood meeting. Sure. Um, I spoke with, I actually, my name is Robert Williams. I work for National Grid oh, okay. uh, Worcester Design. And um, there is a um, contact, a, the um, contractor liaison who um he actually met with he told me today he met with um the president of the community there oh, okay and explained the work going on and there's also going to be a meeting held there in january to discuss with all the uh people living there the perfect project. perfect that's we just hadn't heard a date yet last we knew we were just requesting through for the neighbors that it happened so it, that's great to hear all right um with that ain't yeah come on just identify yourself to the microphone please Uh, my name is Richard Power. I'm vice president of Sturbridge Retirement Community. Okay. And uh, yes, we did have a conversation this morning with, Nat with National Grid, and we are going to set up a meeting because there's, between the two projects, there's 6,700 feet of road that's going to be excavated in front of well over 100 units with driveways and lawns and everything. And we're concerned. Uh, the, of the impact that it's going to have on on our residents, mm -hmm. and so far, National Grid has been very forthcoming. Uh, prior to my retirement, I've had worked with National Grid on many projects, so I you know am familiar with with how they do it. But and I do thank the the selectmen for reaching out and making this uh, you know the hearing available so that people can be informed. Because there's going to be an awful lot of questions once they start taking from. <laughs> and, and we're happy to serve. I'm happy to serve as an intermediary. So if you guys have good communication going already, but as, as this had originated through Gene Bubon, myself, we're always happy to interface with you with the community group as well if, okay. if you need okay. town Thank staff you. to be involved with you. Okay. okay. Um, anything else from board? Anything else from the public? <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess we can, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second? Second. Um, all those in favor? All right, the ayes have it. Uh, so now does the board want to actually vote on this or does it want to hold or none of the above? Well, I prefer not to vote because we really have no jurisdiction over it. So we shouldn't be voting on it. That's fine with me. Does, yeah. does that make sense with everybody else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I think we're going to just go ahead and table the next one too. Right. Um, so, all right. I think that's everything. Unless you guys have anything else you need to um, ask. So can I just get an understanding? Because I have to uh, report back on what happened. Um, so there is a discrepancy between whether it's privately owned roads or. Oh, well, no, it's, it's, it's all private roads. They're private so, roads. It's all private. Not quite. Okay. A couple of the pole, one of the poles is in River Road, which is, I believe, a, a public road in Kelly Road, public or private. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of poles in okay. Kelly Road, which is. Yeah, see, River Road. I mean, that was got put on the original. That's why we it 
it, Mary brought it to my attention, there wasn't one road listed here that was public. If there are any on public roads. would be a hearing, right? If there were well, river would yeah. be. Yes, then it would be here. Have to. Right. So for river, we need to. So you better check what roads exact, because everything listed here is private. Yeah. If there is something on River and Kelly, which makes sense that there would be, um, that might, I don't, I, I don't know if that would have to be re-advertised. It yeah, probably would have to be re-advertised. On River Road and Kelly Road, the pole replacements are in the existing locations. Oh, um, okay. So I think yeah, that's, so that's why yeah. they might not have been listed. Yeah. No, if they're, when they're replacements, though, they still come before us, don't they? Do replacements no. in exist? Uh, I don't no, think so. When they move the replacements, they come before us. Usually yeah. it's like if it's like five feet to the right. Yep. Yeah. 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 But if they're going in the back exact back. location, it's just, just a replacement pole. Mm -hmm. Are they in the exact locations on those? Yep, they're replacement. Because right, usually right. they can't promise that they're exact. That's why I thought they came well, to can, us. Can you do us a favor and please confirm yep. whether or not wh where exactly it is and if it is touching any public way? And if it is touching a public way, we're going to unfortunately have to have you yeah. back. Cause so if be they're moving at all, then we would have to, no, but well, even if a couple feet. Plan calls for replace, yeah, right? So, right. you know, well, they they're replacing, right but in. if they're in the exact location, the question. Well, yeah, they, I mean, they'll just come in and they'll put a pole right next to the existing pole right. and transfer the equipment. It's well, let, pretty let, standard. Yeah, I mean, let's listen, let's do this. Why don't you guys go back and just confirm what exactly is occurring, mm -hmm. what is happening in public, uh, public way. And then, um, if at all, and then we'll if if uh, and then we'll take it from there. But for now, I don't think there's anything right. we can because do. If even, it, if it, even if, if it was, there was it's not noticed. Way, yeah, that would be requires a whole new public, process. Yeah, new public hearing for that. So, all right, guys. So, yes. anything else? All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Good have have a nice night. holiday. Yeah. Be well. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, I think we are on to our 6.45, man. National Grid has made a petition to the Sturbridge Board of Selectmen. Oh, we, we skipped that one. We're, go, we're just staying Oh, I'm it. sorry. Yeah, we're going to go to the deep roots. To number three. Number three. Yeah. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Hey, guys. Right. Notification is hereby given that three applications have been filed by Deep Roots Distillery USA for the following. Two new liquor licenses, Farmers Series Pouring Permit, one wine and one malt for the premises located at 559 Main Street, Suite 208 in Fistale, and one for an alteration of premises for 559 Main Street, Unit 208 and 209, also in Fistale with the Sturbridge Board of Selectmen. In accordance with MASH General Lodge Chapter 138, a public hearing will be held on Monday, December 4. 2023 at 645. This hearing will be held at Veterans Memorial Hall, Sturbridge Town Hall, 308 Main Street, Sturbridge. This notice will also be published in the Southbridge News. All right. How's it going? <laughs> so nice we're to back. See you yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So what's going on? So basically we're looking to extend, we have a farmer's distillers, which we produce our own spirits. We're looking to do a farmer's brewers and a farmer's winery. Okay. which would allow us to do ciders, mead, and beer. Um, and then the alteration of premise would basically bring all three together and put both units under all three. And um, we, the ABCC has already been down to our facility, has taken photos, has talked to us, and told us to do all three at once, and they said it would be easier because one investigator would get them all, and he's already been down there. Um, so basically it would just pull everything together instead of having, like right now we only have the one side and the other side, nothing's on. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to pull it all together and keep everything local, okay. just like we've been doing. So you're just consulting. All right, two questions from the board. I don't have any questions other than this would be for beginning January 1st, right? Yes, yeah, the state said that they couldn't get anything in until after right. that. So I mean, yeah, yeah, we know that. But if they did, you'd have to pay <laughs> the Which fees for that. Which is fine. We are so oh, busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> December's like crazy, so we're like, yeah, we can't add anything. For yeah, why you don't know. Um, all right. Uh, anybody else? I have nothing. Nothing. All right. Do I have a motion to close? Oh, actually, anybody from the public, I guess. <laughs> I kind of jumped to the yeah, conclusion. I, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been wrong before. Uh, but the, uh, oh, do I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, all those in favor? The ayes have it. All right. Uh, any other discussion? 
Do I have a motion? Okay, do you want two separate motions? Um, yeah, I think you probably okay. do want two separate okay, motions. Okay, I'll make a motion then to approve the new liquor license for the port, a famous series pour, pouring permit and one wine and one malt for the premise located at 559 Main Street, Suite 208, Fistdale, Mass, 01518. Uh, do I have a second? I'll, I'll second that. All those in favor? The ayes have it. Um, all right, moving on to the second portion. Okay, I'll make a motion then to approve the license for the alteration of premise for 559 Main Street, Unit 208 and Unit 209. Fist steel mass, 01518. Do I have a second? Second. All right, all those in favor? The ayes have it. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Happy holidays. Thank, Thank you. you. You're busy. Yeah. Yes. yes. Busy is good. Busy is a good thing. All right, so it's discussed. We're moving through the action items, pending guidance. Okay, uh, wait a minute. Run that again. So we are getting more specific guidance from uh, Jonathan about what our authorities around permitting are when there are open issues of any type. Because there, it was we, the explanation received. Well, I won't actually discuss the explanation received, <laughs> but we need additional specificity. OK, also we also need to know what kind of licenses. Yeah. I mean, it just says license, but we need it. Some of them say, Yeah, I think, it'd be, business as, I think it'd be easier to have a schedule than a not a block. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, all vigilant yeah. licenses, all liquor licenses. That's, uh, we'll just do it as a spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, class yeah. three and class two. Yeah, so what we'll do is every type of license will be listed. We'll put it on a spreadsheet. And so the same entity might have be listed under the vigiling, might be listed under the right. liquor. And, and then it's just a big spreadsheet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You have it as a spreadsheet have, anyway. So we'll send it to you guys. Well, yeah, we'll send it ahead. Yeah, and I'm not trying to be difficult, but I just want to define power, what the fun, what our power is, so then we can make a decision, and we didn't, don't have that information presently. I, guess I have a question, though. Is it going to affect any of these businesses from operating? They have till December 31st on these licenses for renewals. Um, what we were trying to do is do it a little early so it wasn't at the last minute, because last year Michelle was like running to people's businesses on Saturday before New Year's, trying to make sure they had their licenses. Um, so we will have the 18th worst case scenario if there are any outstanding that for some reason you can't vote off on let's say someone hasn't complied with a health department check we just might have to have you come in for a quick special if there's one or a hybrid we could even do a hybrid special um to say okay vote on that but last year what happened was at that one meeting they just get handed to you to sign at the in that december meeting with no review um and what we did find a lot of little things and these are things directly related to the licensing, or if someone hadn't paid taxes, or someone didn't have a business certificate, or you know whatever yeah, it might see, be. For years, I mean, they always came with the assumption that everyone's yeah. reviewed it, and yeah. and you know, and some of them have been pulled for and various most were, reasons. Have been reviewed, but there might have been one piece of the puzzle missing, and so and it's usually nothing nefarious, but you know, if someone hasn't done their business certificate, technically they're not in compliance with the state law. Well, and also what you don't want to do is create a situation where a business is in arrears on something and has something on their budget that they don't expect. Right. So really what we're doing right now is, although it's, it's lumpier than we want it to be this year, next year it will be smooth. Yeah. Because, it, you know, this is just we're figuring out how to do it now. So it, it's, we'd like to have it done a little sooner, but... You know, we got time and we'll make it happen. <laughs> Worst case, like I said, we may have to call just a hybrid um, just to, to, to vote and then have you guys just come in and sign as you can yeah. those last few days. It's just with Christmas and, you know, we tried to get it done as well as we could. So, with that. Um, all right, moving to old business. Do we have any uh, uh, old business? Mary Blanchard. Um, no. Mary Dowling. No. <clears throat> no, thank you. Mary Lynn. No. All right, and I have none. New business, Mary Lou. Nothing. All right. Chase? Nothing. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to think of something just to. No, I don't. I don't. The Celtics start at 7 30, so please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jeopardy does too. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> you also are very. I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very glad you're new. Yeah. And I have nothing new. Uh, correspondence. Oh, yeah, we had oh. the one you sent out today from. Uh, oh, the charter. Charter. Oh, right, 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 right. And then we had that one that you sent to me. I assumed you sent it to everyone else from the DEP concerning Southbridge Landfill. Oh, right, that the, the, um, the DEP's relicensure of the landfill was received. We got that. I got that. Uh, yeah, that was, um, yeah. I don't think it's, I think that's all closing, so I don't think it was anything. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Well, sometimes I get those blasts, and I'm never sure what list I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm amazed they had my wrong email. Uh, yeah, we got to address that. I, like, I mean, I've been getting things from them for 100 years, <laughs> and all of a sudden the email's different. <laughs> Maybe they went online, I'll check and see. I don't know what they did. Areas. They put <laughs> they <had> capital M, <laughs> capital B, I think. It was just bizarre. Um, all right. I mean, we didn't have any minutes this time either. Um, all right. Anything from the peanut gallery, Citizens Forum? I just wanted to say this year licensing. Oh, I have to go. Yeah, it's for the people at home. Okay. You just identify yourself. My name is Erica Deverin, uh, 89 Breakneck Road and Deep Roots Distillery. Um, licensing, I just wanted to say this year from a business point of view, having Michelle do most of it has been so much smoother oh, and great. looking forward to next year being even smoother. I heard yeah. you guys talking yeah. about it. Last year was a nightmare. Yeah. Um, just having each individual department doing it and bringing it all together. Yeah, we just want to, what, really the point of it all is just, just to make sure we're catching things because it's so... Because, you know, people miss payments, you know, yeah, people and like, and you just want to. we don't know what we have to, you know, I don't well, remember. Well, you got a lot going on. <laughs> you know, you want to be caught up. And then, yeah. and then when you're going, well, a lot of times, too, it's like, well, you're going for credit or something, or right. you're getting insured. You don't, yeah. <laughs> don't want to yeah. find out that. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to say, <laughs> good job, Michelle. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so all. thank you for saying that's it. Nice. Good job, Michelle. Um, all right. So I think that's about it. Uh, oh, I just have a quick question. Is Rep doing the the light competition like they did? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, on, it's, on, it's, on, it's on the website. It's on their website. Yeah. Oh, it's on and their I website. think there's actually yeah. two voting, some, there are two categories now, like inflatables and just lights. Or they, so check the website out, everybody, because there's, <laughs> yeah, she's, there are some people like the inflatables and some people yeah. like just the lights. So I think she's carving that out a little bit. Nice. And by the way, the New York trip went very well uh, this week. Oh, yeah, I the saw the pictures. So. It was looked lovely. Yeah, lot so a lot going on on the, on the rec side. That's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, with that, do I have a motion, motion to adjourn? To adjourn. Uh, oh, well, I'm not going to accept that one because you interrupted me. <laughs> Second, and all those in favor. Thank you, everybody.